Hey, how's it going today? Uh, my name's Ed. I want to just discuss a little bit about life-changing events. Life-changing events that happen, occur in our lives, they alter everything. Our existence, our physical, our mental, our social capacity. Changes that really, truly affect human existence. These, these changes can disrupt, they can change, they can alter your whole being. You have to understand that life changes occur with or without your will. And when these events occur unwillingly, they can be very dramatic. That's when they're the most scariest at times. That's when you're at your lowest in life. The uncertainties dwell deep within your soul. And you're not sure why, what the meaning is, what the true existence of your mere life is all about. These events can range from deaths in the family, uh, breakups, marital disputes, uh, disobedient children, uh, disrespect in the world. Uh, they range, so, so many things can alter just our human existence. And it's, it's important for everybody to realize that we do not understand what everybody else is actually going through and even though it doesn't appear outwardly inwardly they can be devastated crushed and demoralized and when we don't give people respect you can push them to the mere brink of suicide and <clears throat> it's easy for a community to point fingers you know once the lead sheep gets ringing the bell it's like grain time get it on buddy well I'm I'm here to tell you the last 15 years of my life has been hell just trying to come out of these physical changes moral changes social changes changes that can be just devastating to your mere existence. We all go through changes and it's hard to go through these changes and when you don't have a support structure to lean on for understanding it can be devastating to an individual. People need to lighten up in society. They need to stop being so politically correct. They need to start being forgiving and understanding you don't know what individuals go through. It's, it's hard to judge when you don't understand. So judge not lest ye be judged. What we should be doing is lifting up our community members. We should be making sure that they have the sustenance that they need to sustain life in a good quality manner. And here we are gossiping, rumorizing, doing things that Jesus told us not to do. What road are you on? It's up to you people to decide. There's a fork in the road. America's on rocky soil right now. And we have to learn to love our neighbors. Understanding it is key. So what we have to do is take time and breathe. You know, everybody is going through turmoils. It's a tough life and... You know, everybody has to make it. It's easier if we make it together. Make it easier on each other. I, I see people, they have six, seven cars, and they drive one of them, you know, once in a while, just to drive, oh, look how the pretty car I have, while you have children next door that is starving. And they look the other way so they don't see it. 
It's disgust and these people are Christian? Come on, people. Really? <clears throat> this is a moment in time where you need to wake up. Lust of the world is not going to save you. Understanding of individuals, it's key to understanding life. Hardship is very hard. You've got scammers out there that, you know, try to work your inner soul for bleed, bleeding heart disease is what I call it. But I have a philosophy with those people. It's called the muddy shoe effect in life. The muddy shoe life. As we walk down the road of life, it's like walking down a muddy trail. And we all have experienced walking through mud that just sticks and cakes our shoes. Well, that mud gets really heavy. It's like everything that is in the world that weights us down. Once in a while, you just have to stop on the trail, find a good rock, and wipe that mud off. The good mud will stick with you, keep on down the trail. All that heavy, disgusting mud, get it off. It, it weighs you down, it will kill you, it will destroy you. If you're not happy in life, change it. Change is hard, it's difficult. Get your health in order, that's key. If you find out how to get healthy, your mind starts getting healthy and your body will follow it. It's been a long, hard road for myself, so I can relate with these things, these principles, these understandings. And I'm going to start sharing these principles and understandings with you. I've been through a very hard road. I am blessed to be alive. God has a plan for me. Just like He's got a plan for you. It's time to wake up, people. Be sober. Don't be judgmental and lift your brother up. Be kind to your neighbor. Understand. Don't try to rule your brother with a rod iron. You know, we got to understand the prodigal son story. We all go through these life changes. And sometimes we drift away. But when... The believer comes back into the fold. You got to learn to lift him up, accept him. It's a harsh life. We need to get out of our secure zone of pointing the finger at everybody. <clears throat> Understand we all live on this world. We have to participate in any way that we can. Physically, it's hard for a lot of people. Mentally, it's hard for a lot of people. But there's always something somebody can do, even if it's advice. So, let's, let's try to love each other, understand each other, get along with each other. There's a lot of gun-toting fools out there that think they are patriotic, that have no sense of moral to them. They say they are going to uphold the Constitution, but yet they break the Constitution at the same time that they're trying to uphold it. So when you're trying to uphold something that you can't practice, it's, it's hard to follow people like that. We don't need to follow people. We need to be leaders ourselves. We need to pick people up that are down. See, true leaders understand that l leaders are just people that are sympathetic to people that need to follow to become leaders. Don't rule as a leader. Pick those up under you that need the help. Raise them to a level that they can be independent and pick the next people up that needs picked up. Remember people, we're like this big chain in society and we want to be a good strong chain. 
and every one of us here in America, we're part of that chain. Alright, so we're only good as a chain and only strong as our weakest link. So let's not have weak links in America. Let's teach people how to live properly, obtain a good health, a good lifestyle. Let them understand that they are responsible for making choices and changes in their own lives. And there are responsibilities, repercussions for bad choices. And sometimes hard love is good love. And we have to understand it's time to wake up, lift, and love your brother. Okay, I'm Ed. Enough for this one. But I'm going to start sharing some things with you. And, uh... It's time to change. I hope you change and bring change to the world. Okay, I want to give a good YouTube yell. And a Facebook poke. Boop. Have a good day.